What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out one of my favorite new cards from Akoria, Unpredictable Cyclone. This card is ridiculous and kind of just begging to be busted. Uh, we are going with the Jeskai list for this. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, it is an enchantment for five mana. Now you can cycle it for two. Now that's important. We'll talk about that later. Uh, if a cycling ability or another card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards from the top of your deck until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. Uh, you can cast that card without paying its mana cost. Uh, then put the exiled cards that were not cast this way on the bottom of your deck. So essentially, this is a bit of a chaos deck because uh, you're playing this hopefully very, very early. You get this out as soon as you can. And every time you cycle something, which there's a lot of things that cycle in this deck, you just start playing random things. You you don't really know what you're going to get, uh, but all of them are very, very powerful. And that is the key. So uh, to go through this, uh, Ominous Seas is an include in this list. Not only does it have cycling, it's an enchantment, very, very good, but uh, for all these cards that we're going to be drawing, hopefully we can get some 8-8 eight, eight, uh, blue Kraken tokens out of this as well. So uh, this does represent a very strong finisher for this deck. Uh, Fire Prophecy deals three damage to target creatures, so a way to keep ourselves in the game in the early stages. Uh, but not only that, it does make you draw a card, so uh, there's some synergies there as well. Uh, Banishing Light as a one of in this list is just a way to deal with kind of anything. Uh, if you find yourself up against a Planeswalker that you don't have an answer for, Banishing Light is the key. Uh, three to Fairy Time Reveler, an obvious include. Uh, very rarely do you see a control deck or any kind of Jeskai list without to Fairy. It is so good, very, very powerful, just helps tempo out the board very, very well. Uh, Deafening Clarion, I'm running a three of here. Uh, this does give us a way to clear the board very early in the game, get rid of all these mono red decks, that way we don't have to worry about them, and then we can hopefully end up getting to our cycling. Uh, two Shatter the Sky also kind of play a very similar role. Uh, in this uh, six drop slot, we've got quite a few cards, so two Dream Trawler, an obvious include, it is a powerful, powerful creature. If you've played any amount of standard recently, Azorius Control especially, uh, this is a very obvious choice. Uh, Shark Typhoon uh, not only has cycling, but every time we cast a non-creature spell, we just get a shark with flying, uh, which sounds great. Uh, so definitely in for that. Boon of the Wish Giver. Now this is a very good enabler for this deck because it only cycles for one. Uh, you pay one mana, doesn't matter what color it is. You cycle this away with Unpredictable Cyclone on the field. You get any sorcery in the deck. Uh, we have Godzilla Doom Inevitable, uh, which is actually Yadara Wandering Monster, uh, as an 8-8 eight, eight cycler, uh, or an 8-8 eight, eight creature, but it also cycles for only two. Uh, the only two creatures in this deck are Godzilla, uh, as well as Dream Trawler. So you're either going to land another one of these, which can land, it, it comes into play, swings immediately, uh, or you're going to get a Dream Trawler, which is potentially just as good, if not better. Uh, so very, very powerful. Uh, whenever you cycle it, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard. If you've cycled another card uh, more than four times this game with the same name, put it on the battlefield from your graveyard instead. Uh, so pretty good. Uh, Inspiring Ultimatum, kind of one of the cards that we're hoping to cycle into. Now, I'm only running two of these. I don't know if that should be upped to four, uh, but it is a very powerful card. Target player gains five life. Uh, it deals five damage to any target. That can be player, creature, however you want. Uh, and then you draw five cards, five cards. That is pretty awesome. So the idea here is, you know, we cycle away some Boon of the Wishgiver, maybe get an Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, cycle away one of these Godzillas, maybe get a Dream Trawler or another Godzilla. Uh, we cycle away, you know, an Ominous Seas. We end up in either a Banishing Light or uh, a, a Shark Cyclone or something along those lines. So that's kind of the idea. The key here is to get to five mana so we can get the Cyclone out. I have, whoops, I have not played with this deck yet. This is a first for me. Uh, this is one that I've actually been looking to build and finally found a few lists that kind of gave me some ideas. I was struggling to build it, uh, to be honest, and so very, very much appreciate things like Aether Hub. If you've not used uh, other resources like that, certainly recommend it. So I am excited. This is going to be a very fun deck, I think. 
Hopefully, we'll say. Uh, as always, guys, if you are not already subscribed, uh, we really do appreciate it if you would uh, go subscribe to us. Uh, any amount of support, we really, really do appreciate. <sighs> this hand is a little sketch. Uh, we do not have white mana. Now, we do have a cycler on turn one if we would like it. I'm going to try it. If we can get white mana, we are in okay shape, but it's it's very much a matter of getting white mana and really double white, which is going to be a little tricky. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle this. That's not what we want. Um, we will see. We will see. Uh, but anyway, yes, please do subscribe. If you're not already, we, we really do appreciate any and all support. Um, we've, we've tried to do our best to get a lot of content out, especially with this new set. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we could get, you know, as much content out for you guys as possible. Capitalize on that new set and then, uh, you know, hopefully get some new interesting stuff out there for you. Okay, well, we do get to keep cycling stuff away here. <laughs> I guess that is kind of the one good thing about this deck is you do just get a lot of cycles. Um, we do have our fourth mana, but obviously it's not the, the color that we would like it to be. Uh, it'd be great if we can get to fairy out, especially if this is the flash deck. Uh, it's gonna gonna be pretty backbreaking for them. Does not look like we got there this time, so I am going to I'm just gonna cycle this uh, for two here. We get our two two, and we get an inspiring ultimatum off the top. Really, not what we're looking for. Uh, unfortunately, not hitting our land drops is, or we're, we're hitting our land drops, but certainly we would like a white mana. Um, that being said, next turn we do get the unpredictable cyclone, hopefully down. Um, and we'll see what we can do with that. Unfortunately, we don't have any cyclers. Maybe it would have been right to hold on to them, but I do think it's very important for us to hit these, these land drops. So, um... I'm gonna wait till the end step here. I'm gonna let this resolve. My assumption is they're gonna flash out maybe this brazen borrower. Uh, and so I'd like to be able to do this in response. Okay, they didn't. Well then now we can at least do it on this turn. So this will not get a counter. They can counter this, uh, but if they wanna counter this, they're going to lose, or uh, they will lose the opportunity to flash some stuff out, probably. So, we will see. This Fire Prophecy art is intimidating. Eye of Sauron. <laughs> Frilled Mystic. Sure. That does just mean they are tapped out this turn, which means... Um, you know, on this upcoming turn, if we do draw a land, we can drop this Cyclone and be in, I'll, I'll say, reasonable shape. <laughs> Obviously not amazing. Uh, that is our land drop. So here my question is, Teferi is probably, you know, a very strong play against this deck. However, they can just swing in and, you know, attack it next turn and then we lose it. So I'm going to try for just the Cyclone. We do have to be very conscious of our life total. Um, and we will see what we can get. We really need a cycler now. Uh, now next turn we can drop the Teferi, uh, bounce something, hopefully draw a card off of that, uh, and we'll see what we get. Bit of a slow, slow list. I mean, we've had the Shatter and the Teferis in the hand the whole time, but obviously we didn't quite get there there with those. Um, hmm. Do we just try for the Deafening Clarion? My assumption is they have a counter, in which case we do just lose, and that's okay. Um, bit of a rough game for us, but... I, I do think that, uh, oh, wow, okay, well, I certainly didn't expect that to actually resolve. Um, and they may just be able to pump out two creatures here, in which case they still win. Uh, and it looks like they may be able to do that. 
Interesting that it's a Sultai list, by the way. In most of these uh, flash decks, I see either Simic or Demir. Uh, the Demir list in particular seems very, very good. Uh, that's the one that uh, I played, uh, like day one of Akoria, in fact. Very, very good list. I was highly, highly impressed uh, with that one. Um, this list seems, I won't say clunky by any means, but uh, just a little bit different. Let's go ahead and cycle this. Sure. I can't attack with it is the problem, just based on the Slither Wisp. So if they can just, you know, pump a few creatures out, then they, they certainly win it. Rough, rough game for us. Yeah, there we go. Well done by the opponent. That was that was solid. We unfortunately had a bit of a slow draw there. Uh, but still, we did get to kind of see with the unpredictable cyclone how it works. So hopefully we will have some better luck next time and not have to throw away our cyclers just to draw some, uh, some lands there pretty early. So we will see what we can get. Uh, do really love this idea though. Really excited to see uh, if we can get it to work. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Wow. This has all of the land that we could possibly want. Not really, but it has a lot of the land. It's just a very slow hand. This kind of helps though. Uh, I will be honest, I kind of like that. I'm gonna try it. This is a test. This isn't meant to be that serious. This is gonna be a terrible matchup. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this down. Try land coming in clutch. Orzov. Orzov creatures? Humans? Probably just a humans deck. Okay, well, cycle. Not a bad draw. I mean, it's slow in this, but it's a, I mean, it's a playable card. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a rough one. We really, really need a sweeper here. Um, so I will be cycling some stuff away just to see if we can get there. Wow, that is very good. Very, very good card. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think we kind of have to go for this. Put Dream Trawler back. Banishing Light. Okay, Banishing Light kind of helps against uh, the the Brood Moth. Um, it's not amazing, to be honest. Uh, and yes, I knew that came back. Um, but I guess it would have been better. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. We could have just done it on, the, on their attack step, so we would have not taken that damage. I'm gonna do this here. Hoping to draw a sweeper. Did not draw a sweeper. Uh, we just lose, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this doesn't get us there. Guess I should have cycled this first. If we get like a deafening clarion, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> I 
Problem is we can't even kill their board because of this. <laughs> yep. Well done. Sweeping your own board. Sure. You got it. Uh, wow, not a great showing there, unfortunately. Um, that was a bad keep, 100% on me, but um, I don't know. I felt like if we had the land and we had the cyclers, we could have gotten to a sweeper. Considering we've got five in the main deck, I thought it wouldn't be that difficult. But hey, you live and you learn. Uh, we're not we're not going to be perfect with this deck by any means, so it's nice to, to kind of just test it out. I would like to see us really go off with it at least once. Um, so I'm very much hoping that can happen. Yeah, this is definitely a keep, I think. Um, early game, if they don't have any creatures, and then, you know, we've got the sweeper in hand. Looks like they will have creatures. So this will be nice to just slow them down a bit, uh, and then this obviously to help sweep. I'm actually just going to play this out. Um, surprisingly, I think I'm just going to do this, uh, only because they just have the Pelt Collector. Now they're going to get it out, get something out this turn, uh, and that's fine. That's a good draw. Uh, yeah, we'll just Sacred Foundry pass. Love that this is instant speed. This does not seem like a very fast start from this list, I will say. I'm just going to go ahead and Fire Prophecy here. I'm going to throw that down on the bottom. Not bad. Not great. Um, I think we just do this again. Uh, and we'll pass here. Sure. I mean, that's fine. Clothis is, is an interesting card. Uh, I kind of like it. Don't know if it's my favorite, but it's, I mean, it's a card. <laughs> really, just not doing anything. I'm going to cycle this now. Um, one, it doesn't hit the graveyard, which is really convenient uh, for us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um... I think what we need. We'll get second white here. Well, really third white. <laughs> Interested to see what they're actually trying to do. Um, with Pelt Collector, it makes me think they should have been more aggressive. And maybe it's just that they have a bad hand. I don't know. But, I mean, they're doing two damage a turn with this. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe Dream Trawler shouldn't have gone back, actually. Whoops. Because uh, we could actually just play it this turn. Yeah, that was a mistake. Could have just played a Dream Trawler there to get us out of that. Okay, that was bad. Like I said, misplays galore. It's early. That's all it is. Um, I have to assume they have some removal, though. I, I mean, right? An Ember Cleave and they don't have anything on board. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, well, let's play you. 
And let's play you. And let's pass. Can drop this 8-8 eight eight on their turn, so not really caring to do it on mine, just when, you know, do it on their end step. So at this point, there are only lands in the graveyard. That's nice. Let's get our 8-8. Eight eight. Good thing this doesn't ever go to the graveyard. Teferi, Bounce, Clothis. Draw a card, see what we get. I'm actually going to save that. Uh, we know the Clothis is coming, so I'm not interested in, in taking a bunch of damage here. If they have a haster, we're in bad shape, so I'm going to stop. Um, we could certainly attack there, but I don't think it's worth it to. Just because if they've got any creature with haste, they ember cleave it up. We are in terrible shape, so I'm not trying to, trying to do that. Attach that ember cleave, that's fine. Okay, first things, well, first things first, let's do this. Don't worry, I got Whoops, no. Let's do this. Get rid of that. Cycle, see what we get. We got a shatter. It's really not great for us, if I'm going to be honest, but let's do it. Uh... We're going to draw a card off of that. Um, the only reason I did that is because, you know, obviously with their... If they have any creature, that's just bad for us. So now we have a way, because of Teferi, to sweep the board instantly. Which seems pretty good. Um, so I'm going to let him equip here. Because, I mean... Because I kind of want them to play another creature if they've got one. Okay, now I will do this. I'm seeing now why so many of these lists had like a million sweepers in the board. Um, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> we are just in survival mode. Uh, if we do get, I mean... Really, any creature is going to be great for us because Dream Trawler, we just play out. If we get Godzilla, we cycle it and then either get a Godzilla or get a Dream Trawler. So. Okay, well, and there's a Dream Trawler. Uh, let's do that. Let's do this. We still get to leave up Deafening Clarion. And we're actually almost to the... Uh, Second ominous seas. Oh, interesting. Which one are you gonna do? Perfect. That's great. We can deafen and clarion on that. Gonna wait till the end of the turn. Oh crap! That was a mistake. Wow, that was bad. Okay. My mistake. Dang, that was so bad. Uh, that was a misplay. I'm learning so much how much I misplay. Um, definitely messed up there. That was very, very bad. Wow, so bad. Okay, my bad. Lots of misplays, guys. Uh, we are going to test this deck out in another video, though. We're going to give it two videos, as we always do. Hopefully, uh, not only will I play better, but hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about how this deck operates. I do think it's fun. I do think it's not a bad deck, uh, but I do think I need to play better. And, you know, we kind of need to test some stuff out. This one is interesting, to say the least. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, leave a like, leave a comment down below. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you very soon uh, in the next gameplay video.